Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. And right now we're in the state of Connecticut. We're currently in the city of Hartford. Today we're going to be doing a walking tour of downtown Hartford, Connecticut. It's about 66 degrees outside right now. We have cloudy skies. We're next to Bushnell Park, which is one of the oldest public funded parks in the country. We're walking away from the Capitol area, the Capitol grounds. Hartford is the capital of Connecticut. If you haven't got a chance to check out my driving tour, showing you guys more in depth, the Hartford area, make sure you check that out. I'm able to cover more square miles driving than I am walking. So look at this. At any point in time, if I point at something like this, you can pause it and read it. Bushnell Park is huge. It's a pretty big park. Went across the street. They got a carousel over there. Established in 1854. Bushnell was established in 1854. I cross the street so that you guys can get a better view of these buildings rather than me being really up close to them and you not being able to see. Check out that trash can. They painted a bunch of eyes on it. You see that? Little details like that help beautify a city. That's the Department of Environmental Protection. They have two statues out front on each side of the entrance. huge green space and then you look up and you'll see the downtown skyline it's not really a huge skyline from afar you do see some nice uh, buildings in its entirety it does look nice but there's nothing mega tall here we're passing the appellate court it's the appellate court state of connecticut appellate court We have a little bit of park history over here. I'm gonna pull up to it. So in case you wanna read it, you can pause it and read it. That looks like a little miniature castle. <laughs> right in the park. I'm sure it has something to do with the park itself. There's another little information board over there. That's the Pump House Gallery. So I'm gonna probably at least go here so y'all can see what that looks like. Bless you, the guy over there with the yellow vest with the leaf blower sneezed. So we're just gonna walk through the block and take a little shortcut just cause I wanna see this building. It looks like a little miniature castle almost. It's made out of bricks and it got the old school stones. Pretty cool.
You have a female approaching us on an e-scooter. Check out these little park benches. This is cool. Check it out. That's a nice addition to a community space. They got the checker tables and they got the benches. So if you're into checkers or chess, you can play. You don't need to bring your board. You just need to bring your pieces. All right, so we're approaching downtown. This is a nice public space. This is a really nice public space. Check it out. They got the little birdhouse. This is cool. What if there's a bird in there? Tweedle tweet. Tweedle tweet. Come on, buddy. Imagine he came out. <laughs> Imagine he stuck his head out. What you talking about, Willis? I'm like, oh, snap. A talking bird. Uh, that might be him right there. Look at the little teeny weeny bird. He's like, you was up in my house. <laughs> What's up, little guy? He might be too big to fit inside that. I think he's been eating a little bit too much uh, good food, huh? All right, so we're going to cross. Check this out. So I think this will be a perfect place to enter. We got two seconds to walk. We're gonna make a happen, Captain. Center Church House of the First Church of Christ dedicated to the educational and social work of the church. Look at that building. That building got gold tint, like a gold tinted hue on the glass. I didn't even notice that the first time I came down here. I didn't notice that. They got a cemetery back there. Look at that. I see stones, headstones, gravestones. A bunch of old looking ones. They're really thin, like two, three inches thin. They look like they're worn out, probably from the 1700s, 1800s. They're doing some cement work across the street. Check out the little garden area they have lining the sidewalk. The sidewalk, I would say this is probably anywhere from 10 to 12 feet wide. And then that little garden area is probably like a good three to four feet wide, maybe more like four feet wide. All right, we're approaching Main. We were just on Gold Street, probably hence why that building had gold accent. Look at that. I like that over there. That was decent. That caught my eye when I first came here. That's the uh, Athenium, Wadsworth Athenium. It looks like a castle, doesn't it? Pretty cool looking. So we're here in the downtown area. I don't have a specific set point of destination. I'm gonna just travel, show you guys the environment. So I think we're gonna cross here. I kinda wanna look at that castle looking thing a little bit more. You got a little map right here. So this building was made in 1842. Look at the one next to it. Look at that one over there, that looks cool too. 
Wadsworth Athenaeum Museum of Art. I'm gonna go up here so I can show you guys what this little stone says. That's the church we was just next to. I see Hartford Healthcare. So if you didn't watch the driving tour, a fun fact is that uh, this is considered the insurance capital of the country. A lot of the insurance agencies headquarters are located here. That's the name of this place. If you wanted to know how it was spelled so you can Google it and learn more. It looks like this might be some sort of subway system, but it's locked up, so I don't really know. This building right here is kind of tall too. Amistad Center for Art and Culture at the Wadsworth Athenaeum Museum of Art. Visit our award-winning museum shop. Wadsworth Athenaeum Museum of Art, where culture meets community. Look at the pictures on the windows. You see the pictures? Looks like a photograph some paintings, some digital art. I'm gonna walk the long way. I'm gonna make a left, but I just wanna walk the long way so y'all can see this building over here. This is the BPO Elks building, lodge number 19. This building caught my eye too when I first came here because up top it has, it looks like an elk. An elk on display, an elk's head. It's not a real elk's head. It's a sculpture of an elk's head, but it still looks cool. Let me go across the street. So you guys can see like a nice, perfect picture. Look at that. See the elk's head up there? That's cool. All right, we're gonna cross the street. I just snapped a picture. I'm sorry, guys. See up top, they got some nice uh, stained glass. And look at the elk's head. You see the elk's head up there? They even got two elks right here at the entrance. University of Connecticut School of Social Work. A business on my right it's called travelers i don't know if it's travelers umbrella but the root word i see is travelers then i see a little picture of an umbrella next to it
All right, we're approaching Central. <clears throat> Central Row. Three minute walk to the riverfront. Oh, why they tempted me with that? You see, they tempted me with that. Three minute walk. Oh, really? Let's figure that out shortly. <laughs> I'm tempted. I'm gonna go. No, I didn't know I was gonna go to the river walk. I'll be completely honest with you. I didn't wake up today saying, I'm gonna do a tour of Connecticut's river walk. Nope. I just saw that sign and said, hey, that might be pretty neat to include in this virtual tour. So let's do that. I'm gonna walk to the river walk, give you guys a little peek, and then bust a U-turn, and then come right back. Hopefully, it's not like an exaggerated three minutes. You know, they say three minutes, and it probably low key be a lot longer. River walk this way. So there's a a sign on my right that reads "River Walk This Way." So I guess I gotta go up here. Man, if I don't get to a river walk anytime soon, it's gonna be a complete fail. How many of y'all skip steps? I'm skipping them. I always skip like one. Look at this glass building. That building got like a pink peach hue. Remember the other one had like a gold hue? That one has like a peach colored hue. It's almost pinkish. So we're above the cars. You guys can see traffic from, I guess, two, three stories up. It's almost like we're on a three-story roof right now. <laughs> That's the interstate. I see a bunch of graffiti from afar over there on the freeway. Wow. They did a number to that wall over there. I don't know if you can see from afar, the freeway wall is completely filled. Oh, we're passing the Connecticut Science Center. This is the Connecticut Science Center, that building right there. Oh, look up. Look what we're going on. Do you see that structure? So symmetrical, the way the camera's framed. That's one thing that I'll be into when I get into cinematography. Sometimes I'll purposely make a shot not symmetrical, but a high percentage of the time, I have an OCD, so I want my shots to be symmetrical. It looks a lot more artistic, you know what I mean? It looks a lot more uh, even rather than non-symmetrical. Check this out right here. So this is gonna break down the riverfront. This is the Connecticut Science Center. So maybe it was a three minute walk. Just maybe, it would've probably been a full three minutes if I would've just power walked. I was contemplating on keeping this in a more of a traditional virtual walk, meaning stop, stop stopping at every single object that I see that I feel that needs detail, like this. <laughs> and just keep it a straight, face forward, virtual tour. No tilts up, no tilts down. 
I think I'll probably start doing that again when I get back to my hometown, Philly. When I get back to my home area, I think I'm gonna start doing that. Just keep it virtual, strictly facing forward. But I feel like since this is my first time here, I might as well just document these details. And then if I ever come back to Connecticut again in the future, to let's say document neighborhoods around here or something, I'll do a traditional virtual walking tour. When I say traditional, just like this, watch. You understand? Just straight. You can't look left, you can't look right, you can't look up, you can't look down, but it'll keep it virtual. We got the interstate on my right. Oh man, it's gonna be a walk back, yo. <laughs> it's gonna be a walk. No, no. Yo, where's this river walk? Oh, there you go. Man, it's a ripoff. I want a refund. It wasn't worth my three minutes of life. Say no. Nah. <laughs> Then there's a bunch of graffiti down there too. See all the graffiti? And that's right next to the train tracks. Check out this Abraham Lincoln little statue. This is dope, right? That's dope. It's small too. It's a little tiny statue. They're like two, two feet, almost two and a half, maybe three feet tall. All right, guys, this is what we took our three minute detour for. Hope you guys appreciate the detour. <laughs> I don't even think I need to go all the way down. I think you guys can see what you need to see from up here. Cause then we're gonna end up spending a lot of time down here. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's a cool little feature. Now, I wish there was like another walk back, like another pathway that I could take so I don't got to go through the same thing again. Because I know if my attention span runs short, I'm sure your attention span is going to run short. But on our left, we have the freeway. On our right, we have the freeway. So we probably gotta go back, but guess what? I'm not stopping. I'm gonna just continue walking forward. And we're gonna keep this virtual, strictly front-facing POV virtual until we get back to the city. I do my best too when I do these walking tours to try to show you something a little bit different than I showed you in the driving tour. That's why I said if you haven't seen the driving tour of downtown Hartford, Connecticut that I did, check that out because I show you areas that I'm not going to be walking to <laughs> just because they're all far out from each other and I'm not flash. I'm not the fastest walker in the world even though I can walk a little bit fast. Notice since we came the opposite direction we have a female who is exercising she's stretching she looked like she was probably jogging getting her workout on oh it looks like there's an exit right here i'm probably gonna take this little exit just so we don't gotta see that same overpass perfect this is beautiful nice so we can see something different Oh man, these stairs, talking about rocky stairs. Yo, there's probably just as many stairs at the Art Museum of Philadelphia. And this is just to come up here. <laughs> Run up and down this, 20 sets, five times a day. What? You'll probably have super strong legs and burn a bunch of calories. Look at all those cameras they got on that pole. You see all them cameras? Facing all directions. I 
All right, we gotta wait. There's a lot of traffic. I think I could cross here and just wait at the next one. Everybody's coming off of, looks like 91, Interstate 91. Retrospective Metropolitan. That's what that banner up there says. Boutique apartments. Maybe for like people who are into style and fashion. <laughs> I was purposely see, seeing how close I could walk to the wall without crashing into it. <laughs> wow, look at that tree. That tree got like a like a gate around it. You see that? Oh, wow. This one does too. So I guess they probably do that to a lot of the trees. I wonder if that's to prevent um, the width. Because you know how sometimes they grow really fat. They, they probably want to tame the width. The thickness, you know what I mean? All right, so we're approaching the corner where we started with that little detour. Nice mural. It was made by at Corey Payne Art. C-O-R-E-Y-P-A-N-E. A R T Corey Payne Art. You could probably follow him on Instagram. Really nice work. Really nice work. Those mural artists don't get enough credit. They don't get enough credit. It's hard work. And it takes extreme talent to create murals that look lifelike like that. It's like a cartoon version, but it still looks pretty realistic. We're gonna cross here. I see iguanas, I see an eagle with like a butterfly wing and like an Indian head. I see an eyeball. I see a woman with like a beak on her head. I see sunflowers, I see cactus. Yeah, I saw cactus in real life, you already know. I see the Arizona desert, yup, 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 yup. I already seen what that looked like. Iguanas, yeah, I used to see iguanas in Florida. I used to own a couple in my lifetime growing up. But my most recent trip to Florida blew me away because I started just seeing them like walking everywhere, <laughs> mainly in the Umpalaka neighborhood, the Umpalaka hood in Miami. Each hood in Miami had like different traits. One had iguanas, one neighborhood had chickens and roosters. Yeah, that was cool. All right, so let's walk up to this building right here. Show you guys what the front of this looks like. Oh, wow. Nominee for governor. I just noticed that a lot of these little information boards, they had different children. And I think they're like elementary school students who they would, you know, potentially uh, identify for a nominee for government, you know, kid governor. And for example, they got Clara Franklin and then they got this nominee. So they'll put a little information, my issue about me, did you know, and my platform. Connecticut's Kid Governor 2022. That's decent. That's uh, preparing them for the future. Look, there's a young gentleman right here. Asher. Oh, that's an interesting name. Asher Woodhouse. And it says the school and everything that he's from. 
and so on. It's all around this. That's cool. They're mentally preparing them to make changes in their community. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. There's a lot of traffic. Lafayette's or Lafayette's tour. On September 4th, 1824, General Lafayette visited Hartford during his triumphal return to the US. He was addressed here by Governor Wolcott. This is the old state house. Oh, snap selfie, y'all saw me. Check that out. So that's what this building is called. The old, the old state house. It's nice, right? Connecticut's old state house. I'm gonna pull up here so y'all can see what this brick or this big old rock says. Got a cheese bus. Look at the details on these poles. Look at the details on these poles. And it's like they got an X on top of each one. There's an actual X. That's cool. Oh, snap. Welcome to the Hartford Information Center. There's a Thomas Hooker statue over there hidden behind the tree. Thomas Hooker, born 1586, passed away 1647. Founder of Hartford. Wow, that's dope. We got a Burger King over here. The Burger King is located in the Corning building. Like corn, corn on the cob, but with an ING at the end, Corning. Check out the modern Bronco. They discontinued the Bronco for a while and then they re-released it and that was their concept. So we have a clear walkway. We're gonna proceed forward. Passing Sam's quick stop on our left hand side. Now we're passing Gold Plus CT Th Comedy Theater and the Ranch House Pizza. Tesla's, the Tesla's are in the charging stations. That's the Tesla supercharger station. We just pass an eye business. Optometrics, they do contact lenses, glasses, and all that stuff. subway on our left hand side camera repair I well, got a lot of old film camera tripods a lot of gadgets we just passed spice venue and Jinza Express Jinza Jinza
We got the Fang Chop House. The Fang Chop House. Instead of Fang, F A N G, Fang, F E N G. Four Dads Pizza. Haha, <laughs> Four Dads Pizza. That's crazy because uh, in Philly, we had a Four Sons Pizza, a very popular spot. It was one of my favorite places to eat when I was a child. And they got the Four Dads. That's interesting. That's because the Four Sons ended up growing up to be Four Dads <laughs> eventually, right? Pretty soon, it's going to be four grandfathers. Four grandfathers pizza. <laughs> All right. Uh, let us cross the street here. Let's go up a block just to see what's down here. We're on Trumbull and Asylum. We just crossed the Asylum. We're currently on Trumbull. T R U M B U L L. Trumbull. Kind of like tremble, like if you're trembling, or trombone, but trombole. We have the University of St. Joseph School of Pharmacy across the street. I see the XL Center. Check out this big old arch right here. See, this is the reason why sometimes I tilt because you guys wouldn't be able to see these type of details unless I tilt. Wow, this street's nice. Pratt Street Patio. Oh, this is dope. This is a really nice uh, little area. Look, at you got the cyclists going through. That was a nice photo. With the guy riding the bike through, that was awesome. I'm trying to take a photo. Let's step back just a little bit. Step back even further. That was cool. Oh, check out this Albert Einstein shirt. That's my uncle, Albert Einstein. You remember, remember? <laughs> Great minds think alike, man. Wow, this is like a boutique. Like a little boutique business. Try to walk away from the building so that you guys can see what we're walking by. Dunkin' Donuts, New York Deli and more, Professor Tooth Center. Across the street here, I'm gonna cross Trumbull. Looks like there's a sports complex all the way down there, but I'm not gonna walk to it. But I'm just letting you guys know, it looks like some sort of sports complex is probably down there. Rather than going under there, I'm just gonna walk on the opposite side. I should probably walk over here. Now I'm gonna walk over here. You know why? Because it's something different. If we walk on the opposite side, we're gonna see the same thing. So we'll walk up here, you guys get to see something slightly different. And then we'll make a left at the corner. Veterans Memorial Coliseum. It's funny because look at the word Coliseum. You could say Coliseum. You could, you could say Coliseum. You could okay, say... <laughs> Kalisum. <laughs> you could say it in so many different ways. The, Eng the English language is very interesting if you really think about it. Giant parking garage. Six stories.
They don't want you smoking nothing here. The only thing they want you smoking is air. <laughs> The Flood Law Firm, representing the seriously injured. Best lawyers, best law firms, U.S. News 2022, a world report. If y'all want to send me a check for that plug, Flood Law Firm, feel free. Say it now. <laughs> yeah, send your boy a check. I don't want to make this left here, as I told you guys earlier. We're on Ann Ucello. We just left church. Ann Ucello and church. Speaking of church, I like the way that church looks. It's a nice looking church. I'm gonna cross the street here. We got St. Patrick. Sir Anthony Church on our right. Is it Sir? Oh, I'm sorry. St. Patrick's and St. Anthony. Franciscan Friers. They got their own garage back there. We're approaching Aylin Street or All In. Yeah, that could be All In because I see the root word All and then Lin. They got the agave grill. It could be a gave grill, right? We got Hartford, the tavern downtown, 99 bottles of beer. Remember that song? 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 13 bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> They're like, two, you can't count for nothing. Now hiring the tavern downtown, 99 bottles of beer is hiring. So if anybody's looking for employment, check them out. If your resume qualifies and you have the prerequisites needed for, but I don't know, they probably need like a bartender or something, I don't know. Rockin' Horse Saloon. We got some planters hanging. That's the state capital from afar, see it? State capital. I didn't walk to that area because I did uh, maneuver the vehicle to the front of the state capitol in the driving tour. So that's why I said, if you want to see something slightly different than what you're seeing here, as well as some educational you know, knowledge, I always try to relay some information you can find on Google. I try to do my best to regurgitate that, pretty much eat it, chew it up, and spit it back out <laughs> to the viewers of the World Wide Web. Look at that block. I like the architecture there. That block is nice. Bon Mi. I'm assuming that's like a, maybe a Thai cuisine, Thai restaurant, Vietnamese restaurant, something like that. I see the City Arts on Pearl building, Theater Works on my left-hand side. So we're approaching Pearl. We're on Ann Ucello and Pearl. Probably go over here because I don't think we touched this yet. And we're gonna start walking back towards the park, the park area where we started at. I don't know, for some reason, I don't know if it's just me, but that building across the street with these red garages reminds me of like a, like a fire station.
Yeah, it reminds me of a fire station. It doesn't have no signage. I'm assuming maybe it was once a fire station. I don't know, maybe they closed down. I don't know, but if you're from here, let us know what this originally was. The red doors just give me fire station vibes. Plenty of vegetation, plenty of greenery, plenty of uh, trees, bushes. That's how it is in the eastern portion of the United States. I was taking note of that. The west coast is a lot. I mean, Cali has some trees and stuff too, but a lot of deserts and a lot of um, brown lands and whatnot. Oh, wow, look, at we're on Trinity. You got Ford Street over there. You got Jewel Street over here. And then we're gonna walk through this. We didn't walk through this. We actually went through this park, but we went through a whole nother exit. We didn't see this. I didn't drive through here because you can't, as you can see, the street's closed off. So this is perfect. I can actually walk in the middle of the street because I ain't got to worry about cars. This is dope. I wanna take a picture. This is so cool. That's so cool, right? This is awesome. Looks like there's a gentleman over there. He's probably uh, part of the maintenance staff in charge of upkeep in the park because he's entering one of those bases of this arch. This arch is massive and look at the detail and all the architecture up there. I see horses. It looks like a colonial war, probably one of the wars. And if you look right here, there's somebody standing right there. And there's somebody standing right there. There's a little children's place set over there. See, you got a playground. So you can actually bring your kids here. It looks like this park was probably once a park that you can drive through. Can you drive through it over there? Oh, you can drive through it, that's open. Oh, no, you can't. It's closed over here, so there's no entrance. It looks like you were able to drive through here in the past. Cause look at this parking. There's parking spots and there's even parking meters. Bushnell Park. I guess you can no longer drive through it. There's a sign that reads, play at your own risk. No off-road vehicles allowed on public property. Open daily, dawn to dusk. And if you look down, there's a giant B and then a giant L. A C K L I V E S M A T T E R. I'm assuming, based on that spelling from afar, let's take a peek at the capital from here. That's a pretty cool shot. I think I want to make that a photo. Give me one second. I'm going to allow you guys to look at that while well, I try to frame this portrait up. An interesting picture through the bushes but um this looks like it says black lives matter yeah that's what it looks like it says i see a bunch of uh things painted on it justice blm they got the raised fists going into the roots they have a female here with lips a crown together excellent So there's a bunch of little uplifting messages. So if you continue moving forward, you end up heading towards all of the judicial buildings, the courts, the library, courthouse library, and then the Capitol, of course. We got a few minutes on the clock, so guess what? I think I could probably show you guys the Capitol. We're right here next to the state capitol. So I'm gonna walk around the front, show you guys what the state capitol looks like before we close out. 
Yeah, that's cool. I didn't even expect to capture this in the same tour, but either I walked super fast or downtown was super small. <laughs> it's like, no, it was, it's not that small. It's just that um, I didn't really continue walking through downtown. But it's cool. I can show y'all some of this. State of Connecticut Capital Annex building. There's some stairs that take you straight up to the Capitol. But we're not gonna take them. We're gonna walk through the front so y'all can see a nice view. The Bushnell Broadway series. I see an advertisement on these poles. There's a banner. Trinity College, next left. They're doing some street work here. You got several hard hat workers digging in the middle of the street. Looks like there's a little island that probably separates both sides of the street and they're digging. He who has a principle is inspired. The Trive hero is the great wise man of duty. Oh, the true hero. So I guess back in the day when they did engravings to those stones, maybe they couldn't do a U. They couldn't do that arch that's on the bottom of a U. So instead of a U, they put a V. That's why I said Trive. <laughs> we got a nice statue over there. See that statue? Lafayette, maybe that's him. Oh, look at this. It looks like a giant cannon, right? With the cannonballs. Permit parking beyond this point. Violators will be subject to state capital police enforcement. Enforcement action per Connecticut General. Whoa. So this is the state capital right here. And I like how they got those uh, messages written on hearts. Strength. Amor. Amor is love in Spanish for those of you who don't know. We got the state library across the street. Not only is that the state library, but I believe it's also a courthouse. Yeah, it's Supreme Court and Memorial Hall. Knowledge, history, justice. All right, I'm gonna go straight through this center path so that you guys can get a nice view. This is the money shot right here. And you got a bunch of hearts that say thank you on our left and our right hand side. Hearts on a wooden stick. Beautiful stained glass. And again, they got, it must be like people part of history sculpted on the side of that building because if you look up you see people you see the people sculpted it into the building pretty nice and then over here i noticed when i came in the driving tour if you watch the driving tour you'll see what i'm talking about i noticed that they had these little uh placards that said reserved for certain people you see senators representatives 
Representative Santiago, Assistant Deputy Speaker, and so on. I thought that was interesting because I've never seen a downtown actually have reserved parking space for specific people. And there's all these parking spaces and they're all reserved. This is permit parking only. So the only way you can park here is if you have a permit. William Tong, Natalie Braswell, Sean Wooden. In memory of the men of Connecticut who suffered in the Southern military prisons, 1861 through 1866. Wow. In memory of the men of Connecticut who suffered in Southern military prisons. Wow. Why did they get to military prison? Like, like if, like if they're part of the, um, the government, why would they put them in prison? I don't know. Probably a part of history that I didn't pay attention to in class. Say no. <laughs> I didn't really um, start caring about history until I got older. Like certain history that I would like to learn about. Look at Major General Lawrence Ransom Edwards. Loved commander of the second division who led, what's it say? The sons of New England to glorious victory, the battlefield of France in the World War, 1917 through 1918. I'm assuming that's World War I. And they forever embody him here on the side of Connecticut City Hall. Oh, um, City Hall, State Capitol, I'm sorry. And there's some of the skyline. Looks like you got uh, more big, big buildings over there, but they're not really part of downtown. There's probably just other offices, insurance companies, and things like that. And then you can see the style of the building. Looks so cool. Cool building. And look at the downtown skyline. Not 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 bad, mate, right? <laughs> it looks cool. That is detailed. And I bet you at that time, the price to build it wasn't probably even astronomically high in today's numbers. Because I saw there was a really nice church built in one of the small towns that I went to in the Northeast. I can't remember the small town right now. But the church, it said it cost $97,000. And it had so much stone, just like this. A lot of, I'm talking about stonework, beautiful. And nowadays, if you try to make something like that, it wouldn't cost no $97,000. This is like 10, 11 times the size of that. So you probably say, 97 times, you know, 10, probably maybe a cool million bucks back in the day to make it, give or take. I don't know. You could probably Google how much this cost to make back in this day. But now you compare that to today's economy. Let's just say, for example, it would probably cost a million back then to make. Today's time to make something like this would probably be like 20, 30 million just because of the materials and the detail and the architecture to it. Here's the park, guys. That's the park, Bushnell Park. We walked through that park. We was in the city for a little bit. Y'all got a chance to see some of the waterfront, some of the city, some of the park. Hopefully, you gained some cool knowledge that you didn't know before. For example, I've always heard of Hartford my whole entire life as I was a youngster, through friends or whatever, but I never knew it was the state capital of Connecticut. So you learn something new every day. That's that walkway over there that said Black Lives Matter. We pretty much just walked all around the state capitol. They got a little e-scooter thrown on the side of the park. E-scooter chronicles. 